Every time I say that ODM is a Luo party, people allude that it is clear-cut tribalism. Yet with each day that goes by, we keep seeing more evidence that affirms the same. For instance, just the other day, the game MP Elisha Omondi came out to say that ODM cannot be led by lawyers and that it must be led predominantly by people from the Luo community. Here's the tip. There's been a, a lot of ululation and a lot of intricate moves in the party ODM. I am asking the party ODM. I know the party leader has called for delegate, has called for central committee meeting on Wednesday. I'm aware. I'm asking of them. Central committee cannot be more powerful than NEC, according to the constitution. What I want them to do, let them call for a national election. Let them call a national delegate conference. I, as Alicia, I am sure I'll be the deputy party leader of ODM as Laila moves out. And I want to ask my competitors, this is is about persuasion. Let us use the art of persuasion to persuade delegates to vote for you. There's no war. ODM will still remain. But what I refuse to agree, ODM as a party cannot be led by our brother lawyers. Oparanya is a lawyer. Sifuna is a lawyer. Mba, uh, Wandai is a lawyer. It is not possible that the party can be led by lawyers. This party must be led by the people of the Republic of Kenya, which include people from the coast, people from northeastern, people from central province, people from Rift Valley, and more importantly, people from the larger Luanyanza. And I want to ask Mbadi as a nominated member. I heard the other day he came to game talking carelessly. He's a, nom a mere nominated member. He didn't win election. He was beaten by Wanga. Gladys Wanga. You know, I, I would respond to a man who has not been beaten by a woman in terms of competition for an elective post. But I will not, I will not talk about Mbadi because but I am glad, on the other hand, Gladys is doing a better job than all governors in Nyanza. Gladys is performing than all governors in Nyanza. Now in this video, I want us to decipher what this coded message from MP Elisha Omondi is designed to achieve because in politics, everybody has an agenda. But before we get into that, if you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Wafula, hit the subscribe button, you're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really, really need to subscribe to. Now, the first reason why the game MP Elisha is making such statements is the fact that he wants to sabotage and possibly frustrate Raila's succession plans. Raila has already been on record saying that in his absence, Joho or Oparanya can lead the party. But Elisha, who is one of the rebel MPs that went to State House, is trying to get the Luos to reject leadership from any other community when it comes to matters ODM succession. What he is doing is preparing the ground for a mass exodus right before they debut a new party in Luo Nyanza, spearheaded by himself, the likes of Okotho Bado, Ivan Skidero, Tom Ojienda, and so on and so forth. And provided Raila goes to the African Union successfully, they might just succeed. So at the end of the day, all this rhetoric from Elisha is geared towards preparing the ground to shift from any form of leadership that Raila may offer, be it Luya or coastal leadership, and to look towards their own. And since there's no one who can fit those shoes within ODM as at now, they will be looking to form a new party. Now on the flip side, this type of reasoning, assuming it is widely adopted in the Lakeside region, it will have far-reaching consequences. For instance, there are some Kenyans who have been complaining that Kalenjins and Kikuyus have been holding the presidency. And in line with that same reasoning, other Kenyans will also realize that the opposition has been monopolized. And the stronghold that Luo leaders have had in the opposition will die for as long as people like the game MP have their way. Because how will there ever be another Luo candidate when they are approaching the negotiation table with a new localized party that consists of only Luos. Raila has worked very hard to build ODM. It has Joho, Oparanya and so on and so forth. All that progress will be lost when people revert to self-appointed cocoons with no bargaining chips. Although the softball for Mr. Elisha is that whether he schemes or not, the death of ODM was always coming because in politics no party can survive forever and ever outside of power and outside of the existence of the founding father. So the same way ODM will die when Raila leaves for AU, UDA will also die as president and true to exits in 2032. I don't see Rigadi Gashagwa using it. And if he does, he will go home because Kenyans will be looking for a change then, not a continuation of what has been happening. So if Elisha and company are able to kill ODM, 
and form a new Luo party, that is going to be a very tall order. You may not like Raila, but what he's done is no small feat. A party that comes from the lakeside, but can have a governor all the way on the other side in the coastal region. Because if they disintegrate ODM, Oparanya will walk away, Sifuna will walk away, only Joho might stay, and his stay is conditional. It is based on whether or not he's given the ticket to become the flag bearer, or at the very least, the deputy of whoever will be looking to become president. That is the kind of challenge that is happening in uh, Luo Nyanza right now. ODM is coming to its very end. People like Elisha are salivating. They want to create a new party. And the problem with that new party is that it will be accepted by the Luos, rejected by everyone else. And what good will that party be? But either way, time will tell. Let's see what Elisha and his uh, friends are planning for the Lakeside region. Meanwhile, you can let me know in the comment section below what you think about this whole ordeal. Do you think Elisha will make headway in regards to nipping off ODM and coming out with something new which the people can accept? And if they do succeed, will that party have any political mileage to produce a candidate the way ODM? DM has done election after election after election after election. Do drop me your own comments. I'll do my best to read them and to give you a response. In the event you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Wafula, hit the subscribe button. You're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really, really need to subscribe to. All right, guys. Adios. Thank you for choosing David Wafula as your primary news platform. We put countless hours in research, recording, and editing. By showing up each and every day to watch our videos, you encourage us to generate more videos for the viewers. We are on a mission to inform, educate, and build a better tomorrow. To our thousands of followers in a world full of presidents, kings, and queens, you are the real gem. Adiós.